everyone, welcome back. So today is another London vlog day. Alan and I are off to Borough Market. We're nearly there now. We've made it to Monument. We're gonna walk from here. I'm gonna show you guys the monument behind me. It actually signifies the spot where the fire, like the big fire of London started in 1666. And I know this because it says so on the monument. Very handy. Um, and it's massive and you can actually pay to go up the stairs to the top. I've never done it. Alan's never done it. It's probably something we should add to our London bucket yep. list. Mm -hmm. But for now, we're going to head to Borough Market to get some delicious food. So just there is the Shard. You can see a lot of things around here. It's very loud. It's a Saturday. Borough Market is open, I think, 10 till 5. Um, great place to get food. So definitely something worth doing if you're around. And yeah, just back in the city. Last time I did a London vlog, we went to the Barbican, which was also kind of like... EC city area again just one of those places you need to come and walk around the city for yourself if you're visiting London it's so worth it because it is just such a clear mix of old and new you can see it right here we've got new old and then here's Alan somewhere in between also guys like I said that's Tower Bridge this one's London Bridge I think they're often confused because that's so grand looking you would think that would be London Bridge but London Bridge is actually famous because it burnt down when there was that great fire that I was telling you about when we were in Monument and it was only reopened again in the 70s by the Queen so it's quite a young bridge actually for the how well known the name of it is it's so busy here and I'm only 5'3 I can't see anything Alan you're responsible for finding us the steak so you can get so much different food here. You can get groceries like a standard food market would have, fresh produce, um, fish, there's butchers here, everything. And um, there's even like beer shops so you can get specific types of beer. But there's also loads of hot and cooked food. Um, there's like a whole section of the seafood, like mussels, and then there's different risottos, there's Italian, there's everything. What we're specifically looking for is steak and chips. I saw a picture of it on Instagram this week and it looks delicious, so we're on the hunt for that. As always, Alan has to pinch something. <laughs> well, I would rate that very, very highly. That was delicious. Like, I love my steak um, medium rare, and it was definitely more on the rare side, just divine. Absolutely loved it. Would definitely recommend if you want to find it. It's um, pretty easy to find. If you go to the Bread Ahead Bakery, which by the way do the best donuts. When I used to come a few years ago, we would always get a Bread Ahead donut, and you could just go straight up to them, get a donut, and walk off. But now the queue is crazy long. Bread Ahead's also spread. Like they have one in, um, they have one near Kingley Court, near Carnaby Street. They also have one in Covent Garden. So there are other locations you can get their amazing donuts. But just across from the Bread Ahead Bakery, which is here, is the kind of like food market and there's a stand there for the beef steaks. Very good. We're queuing for our Bread Ahead donut, which like I mentioned are in other locations now, so, but they're so worth it. Trust me guys, these are probably the best, best donuts in London. I prefer them way more than Crosstown, even though Crosstown donuts are delicious, but Bread Ahead for me is just the best in London. Um, but the flavors, so we've got caramel, sea salt and honeycomb, velvet chocolate, hazelnut pralineen, or just a classic homemade jam. They also have a classic vanilla. No, I think I'm going to take off my glove, so otherwise it's just going to be messy. What flavour do you go for? Vanilla. Nice. Let's see what you got for. Mine's like kind of messy inside. I'm like feeling a bit overwhelmed to get it out. Okay, let's see what I can do. Firstly, honeycomb. Mmm. Wow. There you go. Main set. Okay, I'm gonna bite ya. Yep. <laughs> They're a bit cold, but absolutely delicious. The flavour of the kind of cream in the middle is amazing. I feel like you're a bit close, Alan. Sorry? 
Yeah, that's good. So the flavour in the middle is absolutely amazing. And I think I've tried the jam one before and the chocolate one before. Really, really good. Nice to try this one. A little bit cold, but the weather does make it that it would be that. I'm gonna be a bit messy after this, but yeah, very, very good. Well, we've had a lovely time. Oh, this bloody lens. We got there kind of late. It was like just after two, and now it's 4.20 or something, so the sun's starting to set. It's definitely finally getting out of that stage where we have it in England where it gets dark at 3. We're making progress here and it's like, yeah, 20 past 4 and the sun's starting to set. It's so beautiful. Because we've had such a lovely day, like the weather has been such a clear blue sky, but very, very cold. Um, but we're gonna, we're just walking along now, like along the river towards the Tower Bridge. I'll show you guys some close-ups of that. Magnificent bridge. And also something you can walk across the top of. Again, something I've never done, but I should add to my bucket list for sure. Um, I think I've lost Alan. I should probably hurry there he is, like on the phone. Alan's very determined to <laughs> be on camera. Uh, what are you looking at? It looks like something very serious. Twitter. Twitter, oh, as always. <laughs> but yeah, really beautiful view. Check this out those pink hues in the sky the sun's actually setting that direction but oh, it's nice to see tower bridge and actually straight opposite is tower of london which i'm going to zoom in for you guys to show you you can see the um kind of like walls built the whole way around it again if you're in london something worth doing i haven't been in there since i was probably like 11 on a school trip been around the outside a few times since then though especially when we had all of those poppies that are installation of poppies that was cool to go and see but I don't know, maybe me and Alan are gonna have to this summer do a Tower of London vlog. Would you guys like that? Let us know in the comments, do you wanna do that, Alan? What? We should go inside the Tower of London. Yeah. It's definitely haunted, I think. Yes. Maybe not even haunted, just there's probably a lot of spirits there, I imagine, after the history. Oh yeah, there is Tower Bridge. Right, Alan, which is your favorite bridge in London? I think I know which one it would be. My favorite bridge. Hmm. Albert? Albert's cool. I like Hammersmith Bridge, it's quite nice. Hammersmith Bridge? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Hammersmith Bridge and Albert Bridge are very similar to bridges that you find in Budapest because they were built by the, the same green. person. Mm. Really lovely. My favourite is, I love Millennium, Millennium Millennial Bridge. Bridge. Yeah, that's but it's a very, new very train. new. Yeah. Tower Bridge is nice. What about Blackfriars Bridge? Black, I think it's a bit ugly. Yeah. Get good views from it though. So I think I'm going to wrap up today guys, we're just going to walk back to Westminster, meet up with Alan's brother and then I'm seeing a friend tonight, but tomorrow we're going to Chiswick Car Boot Sale, which is really really cool car boot sale, we often find some great second hand books there. Um, some of them we sell on, on eBay and some of them we'll keep for ourselves, so we found some like, what if we bought them for ourselves? I got my trousers. Alan bought some amazing cords for like £10, which mm -hmm. was a great uh, sale. Um, and we'll see, I'm often on the hunt there for some vintage Doc Martin boots. I have my church boots, but I think like a classic pair of boots would be great too. You can hear it's very noisy here, but anyway, we'll see you tomorrow for the club mm. sale. So we are at Chiswick car boot sale. This is famous in London for the amount of antiques they have here. It's the first one of the year, it's kind of empty nothing in the middle of the field but around it there's some things you pay one pound entry fee it's the first Sunday of the month every month and um, they miss like one a year I think in December maybe or actually January because it's February now isn't it um, but we love it honestly hearing people barter seeing all of the antiques if you guys watch my videos you know I love anything older I just find it fascinating about different times and older times so seeing all the antiques is great we also um like i said in yesterday's vlog um we do uh sell stuff on ebay this is another income form for us it's a great way to find things that we look at sometimes in charity shops but car boots are great because there's a lot of people here just selling the stuff they don't want there's those of kids toys that's usually what we go for um but clothing as well you can find um some like good clothing pieces that sell quite well again on ebay so yeah it's just good to have a crown whether you resell or not finding things for yourself is good i mean you guys can see how wrapped up i am i don't have a hat this year so i'm covered in my scarf and it is it's very cold but yeah i haven't found anything yet today but have had 
thoroughly enjoying time because just hearing people barter and talk and stuff is very London, very quintessentially London and it's it's just fun. Definitely would recommend coming here if you're in London on the first Sunday of the month. So there's so much stuff you can get here. Here we've got bikes, it's like antiques, rugs, some more chairs there. You can also get loads of clothes, shoes. There's loads of kids' toys as well, so lots of things available. Oh look, they're white bikes still there. Look, the Persia. Yeah, I don't know, let's go see. I am on the hunt for a bike. She's a chef to foot. Ah. Loads of fur coats. All vintage. So we've managed to pick up two things now. We're making progress. When we get home, we'll do a haul in quotation marks. Hardly a haul, but I'll show you guys what we picked up and also how much things were as well. Oh, fabulous orange coat. This is amazing. Yes. Okay, to wrap up the vlog, we're going to show you what we picked up. We only picked up two things, but really cool things. First up is a vinyl, Jesus Christ Superstar. If anyone else is a musical fan, let me know in the comments. Alan spotted this and I was like, yes, we have to get it. Um, the lady was selling uh, records for two pounds, but we just asked her if she would take a pound for it and she did. So we got a record for a pound. And the other thing that Alan picked up, which I'm pretty sure I can wear too, um, it's kind of dirty just because it's like dusty and stuff. Um, poof, it smells like paint. What, the actual jacket? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why um, does it smell like paint? I don't know, I feel like I could smell paint. It's a work shirt in a really nice blue colour, which, can you guys see the colour of it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's like, it's like quite a bright blue colour. Um, Alan tried it on, looked great, and the guy was selling this work shirt for £15, and we got it for 10 It's a bit dark, I'm hoping you guys are going to be able to see. Um, we're just going to give it a bit of a wash because it is a little bit dirty, but yeah, he was selling it for £15, got it for 10 I think that's a great deal. And we've been having a look at work shirts for a little while now, so pretty happy to have found one. It's kind of big on me, but just so you guys get an idea of, like it's got like these pockets. I'm not, I'm not doing a good job showing you guys and um, <laughs> Alan doesn't want to try it on. So you just, I'm sure you'll see it eventually. Alan's going to give it a wash now and then we're probably going to take it to LA. But yeah, work shirts are great. Definitely something me and Alan have been looking for um, over the past few months. Last week when we were in Shoreditch, we saw um, some work shirts in a shop and they were selling for like £75. So to pick one up for £10 is great. Um, we've yeah just been picking up some really good bits secondhand at the car boot sale. We got a really cool vase last summer, which we've been using. Alan got some nice cords. Um, it's just good to look around. I have nothing else to update you on guys, so we're gonna wash this stuff now. I think we should put on Jesus Christ Superstar whilst we do it, have a little bit of a tidy. This is like my pile of packing pre-LA in San Francisco. We're going to San Francisco on Tuesday. Um, so we will, when you guys watch this, we will be in LA. We would have done San Fran and we'll be on our way to LA. Um, and also just to let you guys know, I know I mentioned in my last video that I might be missing an upload um, whilst we're away and so that will be happening just because I've been busy today, I haven't filmed anything for next week. So, um, for you guys, you're watching this Sunday, next Sunday there won't be a video, Sunday the 16th of Feb, but the week after that we will resume this schedule of 9am uh, Sunday uploads, really enjoying getting this um, like schedule just happening for you guys and it's great for me as well it really keeps me focused each week on what video I'm making so really enjoying the schedule I know a few of you commented on my video on my um like favorites what I'm loving lately video saying that you're really enjoying the schedule so don't worry the schedule's not going anywhere we're just going to take a one week break whilst I'm away and then it shall continue as usual so I hope you guys enjoyed kind of pottering around London with us this weekend um and yeah gonna wrap it up everywhere we went to will be listed in the description box so you can kind of make note of it for yourself if you're visiting london and i'll see you in two weeks time bye guys <laughs>